Right now at five, authorities set off a controlled explosion inside a Beaver Dam apartment filled with explosives and volatile chemicals. You never think something like this is going to happen to you, but here we are. Meantime, uncertainty weighing on the minds of distraught people who live in that apartment complex. They have now been out of their homes for days. That controlled blast took place at the same apartment where a man was killed by an explosion on Sunday. The explosives and chemicals found inside that apartment so sensitive that they couldn't be removed by hand. We have team coverage on this story today as it develops. Ben Jordan live with how this volatile situation has impacted dozens of people living in that complex. We will start with the investigation. For that, we'll go to Pete Zervakis. He's got the latest from a news conference that wrapped up just about 45 minutes ago. Pete. Well, Steve, as you mentioned, police just briefed the media. They still have not identified the dead man who was found inside of that apartment earlier this week. Also found inside were homemade explosives. So today, investigators secured the unit and blew them up. It was over in a second. Oh my God. Dozens gathered to watch, some who live in the same complex. It was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. Nancy lives in one of the buildings nearby. I live close enough to the building that I wanted to see how much damage the controlled blast would do. Watch the controlled blast again, this time in slow motion. It happened at the same apartment where an explosion killed a man Monday. His body wasn't removed until last night because of the dangerous chemicals also found inside. Investigators today kept the public out of the area. The fire department was called in after the blast to monitor the building. Neighbors say the investigation has made for a chaotic couple of days. It's a small town. I mean, nothing like this ever really happens. Now, investigators put sandbags around the apartment to absorb the explosion. You may have seen in our video that some of the nearby buildings had their windows and doors boarded up. But even with all of those precautions, the police chief says there was some structural damage to the building where the explosion occurred. Live in Beaver Dam, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4.